guys, it's Sluggy, and today I have another illustration, but this time it's actually a commission. Um, I don't personally watch um, much Sailor Moon. I've always wanted to get into it, but just, you know, things like time and stuff, but regardless, this was a commission requested by a girl named Amanda, and I'll be putting any of her social media and stuff in the description, uh, and she commissioned me to... Uh, draw one of her favorite Sailor Moon characters, which is Sailor Mars. Um, like I said, I don't know much about Sailor Mars myself, so I had to do a little bit of research, you know, just watch a bunch of videos and stuff, but man, watching the transformation videos, like just that part, is always so fascinating. Like, it's so interesting how they transform. Um, but yeah, so this is supposed to be Sailor Mars, and um, she also requested that I do um, an illustration where she's doing one of her fire attacks and I'm so happy she gave me that idea to do that because I think it makes the um, image just look so much more interesting and it also gave me a good idea of how lighting will work because I plan to just, um, it's supposed to be like, you know, like there it's fire and so that's like the main light source and that just yeah that helped a lot but also at the same time you know I don't paint many um, many images that involve fire so it's always it's always a little bit scary to try something new you know um, because what if you just horribly horribly fail at it and you're, co you're the person that commissioned you like hates it or whatever but anyway so although it's always scary uh, a big thing that helped, of course, is that I looked at reference. Uh, I had a few references for this image. I uh, looked at one image where I thought it just had a really good uh, for lighting reference for fire. And um, yeah, it was just a good thing to have near my, uh, my while I was painting. And a few things that I learned about uh, fire lighting is that where the brightest spot is um, the middle of the lighting, for example, like, like it's very bright on her face, but as it dithers, like as it fades off from being really bright, it actually becomes a very, very saturated red or orange before it goes into shadow. And I'll, I'll point that out more as my painting goes along. But yeah, so I'm... Just using my typical process of um, having different colors on different layers and then using blend modes for lighting for different layers. And that's pretty much what I've accomplished at this stage. And then now I'm starting to refine and more clean up stuff because I've figured out my lighting for the most part. So yeah, so right now it's mostly just cleaning up and, and yeah. So as you can see, I don't know if you can, um, at, the, at the area of her stomach, for example, she has this deep purple shadow, but then instead of going from purple to yellow, like in the middle of her stomach, there's this transition of a very, very uh, saturated orange in between, which is something that I picked up from the reference. because and. If I had tried to do this straight from my imagination, I would not have thought to put that there, and I don't think it would have been as convincing as um, lighting by fire. So once again, I'm preaching to always use reference because it's so good for you and it always makes your image better. Um, and I think you just saw a flash there where I had turned my image black and white because once again, I'm always checking my values because I want to make sure that the brightest part is the fire that's at her fingertip and her face because those are the two places I want you to look at while everything else should be not as bright or not as contrasty. So yeah, here I'm just, I'm pretty much again, like I said, I'm just refining, keeping going. And also I took a picture of myself, um, just the upper body in particular for her arms to kind of get that um, like, for shortening look with her arms. Uh, this is not super easy to, to, to do, so um, I had to take a picture of myself just using my webcam, doing this, um, you know, like pointing, pointing position or, or something so that I can get an accurate, you know, reference for what that might look like. Because foreshortening is not easy. 
So that's another thing that I recommend using reference for. So yeah, that's pretty much for the image. I'm going to really quickly just talk about my like my giveaway and the prizes or the, the thing I want to do for reaching a thousand subscribers. Um, first of all, thank you again for subscribing to me. I can't believe I made it this I made it to this number. However, I, I really still I still want to do something awesome and I really want to do something to reward everybody for subscribing to me. And I have some things in mind that I think is gonna be a pretty huge giveaway for such a small um, for such a small subscriber count. I mean, sorry, not, I'm not saying that the subscriber count is small, but I'm saying like at this stage, usually people go bigger and bigger as they get more subscribers. But I was thinking of giving away something that's pretty big because I want to reward the people who subscribe to me first the most. Um, but anyway, so I want to do that. However, I am going on vacation for Christmas, like I think many people are, and I can't I think I'm gonna have to do it after I get back from my vacation because I'm going all the way to Indonesia, which is where I grew up, and there's no way I could um, try and ship anything from there. It would just be ridiculously expensive, and for the thing that I'm thinking of giving away, it would just be too, too expensive. So I'll be back in January, and that's when I believe I'll continue. And also to let everyone know that because I'll be going on vacation for two weeks and then two weeks of just downtime with my family, but two weeks I'll be traveling quite a bit, I will have probably no videos during that time. It's a little bit, it's too difficult. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to catch everyone up with the state of the channel and that, yeah, I still plan to do some kind of giveaway and some kind of... Um, custom drawings for my early subscribers and stuff like that um, but yeah it's just gonna have to be after my vacation because there's just no time and no yeah there's, it's just not possible right to do it right now because I'm leaving in two days I'm leaving on Monday and I'm pretty excited for this trip because my friends are coming with me to Indonesia and they're gonna I get to show them around pretty much like where I grew up and stuff a part of me is considering vlogging. Uh, it would be awesome if I got to know what people thought about that because, um, yeah, I, I've never vlogged before, but I think it'd be cool just because um, I, like I said, I won't really be able to do any kind of videos, but if I'm vlogging, it feels like I'm still, you know, trying to contribute to my channel even though I'll be kind of not able to do much art for two weeks. But yeah, let me know if you think that would be interesting. Um, I don't think there's many people who've seen what Indonesia looks like, so I think it could be cool to share that with everybody. Um, yeah, okay, so that's pretty much for all my announcements type stuff. Um, once again, and this part of the painting, this is pretty much the last, one of the last things I'm working on, the face. Um, however, I'm gonna continue working on the fire that I didn't, was not able to record. Um, um, yeah, it was just too... My batteries were just running out really quickly and like I just wanted to get it done versus waiting to charge them again before I upload it or like send it off to the commissioner. Uh, if anyone else is interested in commissions um, for any kind of details and all that stuff, it'll most likely be on my DeviantArt page. I don't have anything on there now and by the time this video goes up, it might still not be updated because I have a bunch of, I have to pack, I have a bunch of other things I have to do first. Um, but if you are interested, that's most likely where all the information will be. Uh, so yeah, follow me on DeviantArt if you, if you have not, not done that yet. Uh, yeah. Well, okay, so let's go back to the painting. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm just continuing to refine the face. Um, it's pretty much just uh, trying to mix colors without making them too blendy. That's something that I was trying to go for in this image too. I wanted a more painterly look, um, so I tried to make sure that my strokes weren't too... I was, I, I was trying to make sure I didn't cover up a lot of the strokes because I like the painterly look. I love that illustrative, like, children's book type look. 
and I've always wanted to try and put that more into my artwork. Um, yeah. So here I'm starting to finish up. I feel like I'm done with my the body and I'm just working a little bit more on the fire. I was trying to go for something a little bit more magical, like I didn't want it to just look like fire. Um, because she's this, you know, she's this fire goddess or whatever, like, she's not a goddess, but you know what I mean, like she's like a chosen one. So I think her fire should look a little bit more magical and less like normal fire. So yeah, so this is the end and this is what my image looks like. I really hope you guys like it. I think the, I'm pretty sure the commissioner liked it and thank you so much for watching and have a very, very happy holidays. Bye guys.